I'm out here in Volano. We are getting ready for the Whiskey Wine and Wildlife Festival. It actually started last night and it goes till Sunday. But let me introduce you to the executive chef. This is Rebecca. And then we also have Chef Michael. Thank you so much for you? being with me today. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. As the pastry chef with this new concept, Pesca, literally right behind us, we are so stoked to be right here in our backyard um, getting to share some of our awesome creations with Whiskey Wine and Wildlife. Yes. So what are some of the things that we can expect from y'all this weekend? You've got to check this out first. Yeah, what is uh, that, Chef Mike? We're going to do a cooking demo tomorrow. Some of our Florida coastal cuisine It's a little fusion of cuisine. We do some of my Puerto Rican heritage, also some Caribbean flavors, and also bringing in some Asian flavors in there as well. So this ah. is our uh, wagyu, uh, smoked Wagyu nigiri. Oh. So we're going to do a cooking demonstration tomorrow. So you get to enjoy oh my some gosh. wonderful creations that we serve on the menu daily in our, creative, in our menu. That's so cool because, yeah, I was going to ask, how did you guys decide what you wanted to showcase for the weekend specifically for this event? With Pesca, I really get to wear a new hat and try to harness some of these bold Latin flavors into the French techniques that I'm so used to incorporating into my foods. So I'm kind of staying in that vein and ripping off of a dish that I have on our menu over there. And I'm combining cinnamon and a little bit of espalette, so some spice along with a chocolate brownie. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Yes. And, and what about you, Chef Michael? How did you decide uh, to What well, we wanted to do is showcase one bite flavors that it's okay, explosive that and flavor. Sense. So we wanted to show chef, uh, some techniques and some different creativity so that we make sure when the guest gets just that one explosive bite. And we're going to do the cooking demo. We also have the full group. We're going to have the little crispy nigiri, which we're going to do the crispy rice with the beef tartare on it for the, all the rest of the guests as well. So we'll have a cooking demo with a spe more special t presentation, and then we'll have the bites out for the guests. Well, this was definitely a special presentation with that smoke. That looked really cool. Okay, so show us some of the things here, Rebecca. So the other really fun element on this dessert is chocolate-covered strawberry pop rocks. What? Because, you know, at the end of the day, this is kind of a cooking competition, too. So we all really want to bring it. And I personally just love making desserts that are fun to eat. So I'm stoked to get to share this with the guests from our tent, but also to do that cooking demo where, you know, anytime somebody gives me a microphone and a stage. <laughs> and excited. Yes, I love it. It is always so fun to kind of get to share my heart behind the dish, share the inspiration, and really the way the flavors come together in my mind and the joy and passion I have for it. Okay, so I want to try one. So Please. which one should I try? Whichever one you'd like. This is also a strawberry ganache filled white chocolate bonbon Whoa. and then the dark chocolate flourless brownie. Okay, I'm going to go for the brownie for oh, sure. Oh, do it. Well, thank you both so much <laughs> yeah. for joining me today and good luck on this weekend. Excited. I know it's going to be a great success. Awesome. And I've heard your restaurant is amazing. Thanks. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Back to you. Thank you.